morning, everyone. Thank you, Hannah. Um, I've, I'm very honoured to be here with you this morning and for Jersey Water to have the opportunity to, to sponsor the 2022 Jersey Farming Conference. It's great to see the event grow and become so popular and that for there to be so many people here today. It's a fantastic opportunity for the agricultural sector to come together, share best practice, and also meet the colleagues in, in, in other wider stakeholder groups, such as Jersey Water, the government, and, and other sectors. Um, enjoy the gifts we've given you today. And if you see our colleagues around this morning, please feel free to, to come and talk to us. Whenever introducing this con conference or explaining the reason why sponsoring it is so important to Jersey Water, I like to highlight the substantial common ground between Jersey Water and the agricultural sector. Whether it's the common links and history with uh, the Jersey Water Potato, our common in interest in ensuring that agrochemicals and nutrients do their work directly on the crop and not in our waterways, or perhaps most importantly, that the rain falls from the sky in sufficient quantity that it enables our businesses to thrive. On the latter, it's fair to say that we were both challenged during 2022 with below average rainfall through to the end of October. The year was one of the driest on record, testing both the public water supply and growing conditions during the, the summer months. The hot temperatures and dry weather were great for tourism and great for the public, but presented some acute challenges to our countryside, uh, agriculture and Jersey water alike. Sadly, the extremes of weather are no longer isolated events. This year was nearly, but not quite, the driest on record. 2020 was the wettest. In the UK, 2022 was the hottest with 40.3 degrees recorded. Record weather events are all the more frequent and can no longer be unexpected. So what does that mean for us here today? One of the key themes I think today, alongside the cost inflation and all of those other issues is sustainability. The need for us to adapt and change is irrefutable. And we all have a duty to do what we can to help slow the pace of climate change, adapt our businesses to the effects that we're already seeing. Many of us are all already well on that journey. And in the past decade, we have seen some step changes in the way the island is farmed through the use of technology, new crops, ways of working, making the industry really more sustainable. Often the glimpses of those changes are first seen at this conference as the ideas and opportunities are in gestation or early infancy. It's really fantastic to see them grow. And perhaps some of those new seeds will germinate today. Essential for our success as we adapt to climate change is working together, ensuring that we have the end in mind and that adaptations of one group aren't to the detriment of another, but instead are designed to deliver the best outcome for the island. It is essential that we maintain the, the close working relationships that we are privileged privileged to have in our small community. Jersey Water will for one be looking to continue to build on its positive relationship with the farming community as we deliver on our sustainability agenda which is protecting the island's increasingly scarce water resources. Before I sign off I'd like to thank John Garton for continuing to invite Jersey Water to be the sponsor of this event. It really is important to us and also thank you for laying on such a, such a fine event. So have a great day. Uh, we'll be around. So if you want to come and talk to us, that, that would be great. Uh, but thank you very much for the opportunity.